50. Wow. When Ifai and I met, we were both young and naive in our early 20s and 30s respectively. We were focused on our faith and nigh inundated with an ascent church plant before us. There was never any compulsion to draw my young bride into ministry. However, as we strengthened and built the foundation of what has become a formidable friendship and partnership that has spanned nearly 29 years, the crystallization began. In addition to the monumental task of birthing and raising our three scions, Hilda Adebola, Alvin Adeboyega, and Alexander Adekunle, Ifai became a sounding board for all matters personal and ministry. The initial listening ear to my goals and aspirations, my pains and passion, my vision and mission, and my proposed method and seeming madness, she was the audience of one for big, audaciously inspiring goals. After a few years into the blessed estate of matrimony, the relationship naturally gave us both the confidence that there was a definite call of God upon her life to ministry that we nurtured, enabled, and empowered. And Ifai has since become an oracle and teaching pastor herself. My young bride has, with the passing of decades, become a significant blessing to the parish, its wider sea, and now is a global icon. Magnetic and mediagenic, Ifai's modest mien, understated persona, authentic simplicity coupled with her up-to-heaven graces, yet down-to-earth anointing are but a few of the many sterling attributes that she epitomizes superlatively yet effortlessly. Now at 50, she is ornamented with the beauty of calm and quiet confidence and her many virtues have now come to vintage. Ifai has emerged as a force to reckon with, a voice listened to around the world, and a prophetic compass for so many. She is a leadership model for women in ministry and the marketplace alike. At her home, she's the consummate homemaker, and though she finds the balance between work and our family, she naturally always prioritizes family as first place. Prophesy has gracefully evolved into a legendary leading lady and it has been our delight to watch her flourish over the last 30 years of friendship and 27 of our marriage. I am truly grateful and so proud of the grace of God upon her life. I remember writing in the sand 29 years ago the unforgettable words, Will you marry me? as I walked alone with her on the sandy shores of the lighthouse beach in coastal Lagos. Though close to three decades have gone by in the twinkling of an eye, it is my sincerest pleasure to have been her groom, as I am certain it's been her pleasure to have been my bride. I am grateful for the life and love that we share, grateful to be alive to witness your jubilee today, and eternally grateful that we have so much to celebrate in the goodness of our covenant-keeping God. So dear if I, here's wishing you a happy 50th birthday as we commemoratively mark today with thanksgiving for all that he is in you and all that he has done. We serenade and celebrate the remarkable woman that you are, the stabilizing rock that you are in our home, the complimentary tributary that you have been in the forging of this mission, the wind in my sails when I was disheartened and discouraged, the still waters that daily refresh our souls and the brilliant light that you are in the darkness of today's world. Live long, if I be blessed with great health, be blessed with fresh oil. Daily rise to shine in the glory of God that has risen upon you. Win in every battle on all the frontiers of your destiny's walk. May heaven surround you with favor always. May God's angel make his camp everywhere that you are and everywhere that you go. May the bulwark that never fails, the mighty fortress that we call our God forever be your defense as in years past and in all the many decades to come. I declare to you peace that surpasses understanding, wisdom beyond knowledge and great grace against all the odds. May God bless you with wisdom, the wherewithal and the faith of an even greater 50 more. Happy half century birthday. With all my love, Adeolo.